this of room. All right, we are here with Jack Osborne, uh, who is a personality uh, who's been on TV several times, Dancing with the Stars, and is interested in one of the most important topics of our time, uh, alien UFOs, alien abduction, and all the sorts. I wanted to ask you, Mr. Osborne, what got you interested in UFOs? Man, I've been fascinated with UFOs since, oh man, since I was a, a, a child. Um, you know, it probably started with the X-Files. Uh, I was about nine or ten years old when X-Files came on the air, and I was I was hooked. And from then on, it just kind of spiraled. And my dad, he was very much into it, and you know, he would always bring me books because you know, where we lived in England, there wasn't it wasn't like a, a roaring city or anything, and there wasn't any bookstores that had a bunch of our aliens. So every time he'd come to America, he'd find me a bunch of UFO books and bring it back to me. And, and uh, you know, and I just became fascinated with it. Everything from, you know, sightings to abductions to, you know, the Tunguska event. Like, anything and everything I was, I was into. And, of course, Roswell. So uh, it's, it's been a, a bit of a hobby of mine since I was a child. That's good. I, I'm really glad that finally our generation is is starting to open this and as you uh, have open minds. And as you know, the the right now the Kepler telescope is finding more and more planets that that are in the Goldilocks zone. So I think uh, it's inevitable that people are going to have to eventually accept this truth. But I wanted to ask you: Did you ever have your own UFO experience or have seen anything? Or if not, what do you think about alien abduction? Man, I have seen I've seen a, a few things on a, on a few occasions. Um, I could never I could never explain what it was. Um, you know, uh, I guess most recently, twice last year, I saw a similar event. One was out in uh, in Arizona. I saw this um, a series of red lights. They looked like they were kind of funny hopping over each other out in the middle of the desert by Casa Grande. Uh, you know, I. You know, when I explained it to friends of mine who, uh, you know, have had varying careers in the military, you know, they, they said, oh, it, it could have been flares, but they don't, you know, they don't know. Um, and then sort of similar series of lights when I was in uh, Florida about two months later, I was out in the Florida Keys and I saw on the horizon uh, a, uh, this bright red light that was kind of pulsating and, look, and it looked like it was jumping around. Um, it, it was too far off the horizon to be a boat, so uh, you know, I don't even, you know, for me, it seemed like it was, it was in the air. Um, and then as a kid, I saw a few things at the beach. Uh, you know, in one summer, I saw the same thing three times. It looked like a, a metallic diamond in, uh, in the sky that was just spinning. It looked like it was, it was revolving like a like a spinning top. Well, it seems to me that uh, obviously more and more people are having uh, the sightings. It could be because there's so much more activity because we're finally becoming to uh, a pivot. But there's obviously different factions that are visiting. And I wanted to, like I said, ask you, what do you think about alien abduction? And do you think that these visitors are uh, here for good purposes or bad purposes or both? You know, I think it's, it's both. You know, that there's many, I look at it, just take us for instance. You, know, you have good people, you have bad people, you have people who just don't care, you've got people who, you know, are interested in certain things and aren't in others. What's to say, you know, alien races don't share the same feelings? Um, you know, I think there are races that come to visit us out of pure curiosity just to see what we're up to. I think there are, there are races that come to influence, whether or good or bad. Um, you know, for me, I always look at it that the, that the universe follows a set of rules. You know, there's up, there's down, there's light, there's dark, gravity, you know, uh, all these kind of laws of physics that throughout the planet. What's to say laws of nature aren't kind of uh, unanimous throughout the planet? And, uh, you know, if that is the case, these extraterrestrial beings will, you know, inevitably follow those laws. 
I am in total agreement with you. You know, there's been the citizen hearing, which we are working real closely with Stephen Bassett to make sure that this initiative uh, actually goes somewhere. But part of me is, is scared in the sense that I don't know if the government will ever disclose because they've dug themselves up into such a secrecy hole. And I'm starting to think that maybe disclosure will happen more so because of people having their own sightings and their own experiences and them overwhelmingly uh, in numbers starting to believe and and protest for the truth. It, what do you think is going to lead to disclosure? Do you think the president's going to openly say, hey, they're here? Or do you think that it's going to happen from people having their own contacts? What I, well, I think a series of events are going to happen. I, I think, you know, now more people in history walk around with cameras than ever before. Every single person I know with a cell phone has a camera attached to it. There's only, it's only a matter of time until there is something caught on someone's phone or their actual, you know, real camera, which you cannot deny. I think that is going to be something. And then I think also with the, with the fact that we're exploring further and further into space, examining, you know, you know space debris, this and that, they're gonna, I think it's going to be a slow trickle. Um, I think we're seeing the early stages of it now. Um, and, and ultimately, listen, it's, our government lies. They've always lied to us since day one. And they will continue to always lie, even when the existence of extraterrestrials is disclosed. Um, they, you know, I just, it's, government to me is synonymous with lie. So I never think that's going to change. However, you know, their ability to continue to deny, uh, that is going to, that's what's going to change. They'll say, oh, we only just found out this is, this is news to us. That's what they're always going to say. Or, oh, you know, this isn't, this isn't what you think it is. But at the end of the day, I believe aliens are real. I believe they've been coming to visit us for a very, very long time and have undoubtedly influenced the cause of man. So, you know, do I go to sleep at night worrying that, you know, it's not going to be real until the government says so? No. But I'm definitely seeing more and more people waking up to that. I completely agree, and I think, like you said, that it's just inevitable with more and more people capturing footage and more and more people seeing things that uh, they will eventually have to, the government will have to answer. But like you said, they are full of uh, secrecy, and, and they, at this point, very few people trust them as they did decades ago, so that may be the thing. Now, we recently had uh, Sean Stone, who is also a producer, actor, and we've also had uh, Senator Gravel, and people and listen more so to a politician and uh, an actor because of the star power, per se. Are you going to be using the, the, uh, the fan base that you have to push this cause to actually get it? Because we believe people such as yourself are in a position to actually spread this message and do a great things for disclosure absolutely you know i i i always like to quote uh spider-man you know with great power comes great responsibility and i do think a lot of people in um you know the limelight or in, in the similar field of career that i'm in um i do think they uh misuse their their, their voice uh, you know i've always been i've never really you know i'm a very political person but i keep it private because you know, I sometimes think, well, no one, you know, no one, I, I hate when I see celebs kind of rattling off about who, who we should vote for. Um, but, you know, and, and I sometimes feel the similar way when it comes to extraterrestrials and, you know, and the existence of them and UFOs and what they actually are. But I think timing is everything, and I think it's all in how you do it. You know, fortunately, you know, I'm, I'm in a position where I have my own production company, and... Um, you know, I'm not going to go on some chat show just being like, I think aliens are real. The way I'm choosing to do it is uh, I'm, I'm trying to produce content, which is, um, you know, both entertaining and factual, that people can sit there and watch something and, and see clear, concise evidence proving, you know, a certain thesis or theory. Um, you know, that, that's how I'm choosing to, to, to use my voice. You know, we are actually really proud to have you being in the UFO community helping this cause because you are truly an asset to this. You know, Mr. Osborne, it has truly been a pleasure to get these uh, few moments to speak with you. I wanted to ask you if you have any last words or one final message you can give to all the listeners and viewers. I mean, you know, for me, when it comes down to trying to wrap my head around the existence of aliens and, you know, and, and who or what they are, you know, 
I always like to, to pin it on, if it can be thought, it can happen. You know, there's a theory that these aliens are trying to wipe us out. There's a theory that, you know, extraterrestrials are trying to make us better people, that their time travel is all this and that. Like, I'm, I'm open to anything. I'm open to any possibility because I think history has proven to us that if it can be thought, it can, be, it can become reality. And, um, you know, and I, and I try and take that similar approach with this. And I just encourage everyone out there to, to just, just be willing to accept a theory. You don't, you don't have to accept it as fact, but you can accept the theory. Third base of moon.